Hello. Um, this is gonna be a account update type thing. Um, I want to make this video so I can basically hold myself accountable to make these reviews in the near future. Um, you know, I've been lazy, and you know, I I made some videos, but I really didn't like how they turned out. Um, so uh, I'm gonna make some more in the near future. Um, so here's some of the stuff I'm gonna review. Got my two snowdies here, the bailout and the menace. Um, I already made individual reviews on these, but I really didn't like, you know, the like, I don't know, I was just confused the whole review long, and, um, so, I'm gonna remake that, and hopefully get it up for you. And, like, I just don't wanna botch it up, because, I mean, Mike Snowdy, um, you know, phenomenal maker, and I don't wanna make a review that really kind of, uh, inadequately covers the knives, so... Um, that's these two. Um, next. I kind of, I'm putting this up for sale, the Spyderco Cat, so I'm going to review this soon before I sell it. Uh, next up I got the Leatherman Freestyle. Uh, I've been wanting to review this for a while because, um, I mean, my video of just, you know, opening it and taking a look at it has a lot of views, so figured I might make a full review. Um, so that's the Leatherman Freestyle CX. Uh, next we got two little uh, pocket multi-tools and basically what I'm going to be doing is doing a comparison review. Um, I'll make reviews of these individually and then I'll probably make a comparison video. Uh, this is the Leatherman Micro and this is the Gerber Shortcut. Um, last piece is probably the one you guys are probably going to look forward to. This is the Strider SNG. Um, I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do this review. Um, I'm thinking maybe multiple parts, um, you know, talking about the history of Strider knives, and just one talking about my specific knife. Um, let me know what you guys think about that, because, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do with this one, because I don't feel like one video would, um, you know, do this knife justice. Uh, one last thing I wanted to do, actually, was to do some chopping tests with the Cold Steel Kukri Machete, but I'm still working around some technical limitations with that and, you know, figuring how, out how I'm going to, uh, like, do that. Um, so, you know, just stay tuned in. Lots of stuff coming pretty soon. Um, hopefully, I'll get up a few more videos today. That's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.